Hello all and uh, welcome to another episode and here also I'll be discussing ChatGPT and uh, in this video I'll be focusing on how we can use it in our offices by our dealing assistant by our officials to improve the draft so let's get to it so basically uh, like uh, previous times uh, I would uh, want ChatGPT to assume a role so let's say I'll take again my own example and uh, we will just tell ChatGPT to assume this role. So this basically uh, is very important to start any kind of prompt uh, because you have to give the context and uh, the more context you give, the more information you give, more accurate ChatGPT uh, responses will be. So this is the first step. Now let's start with a simple uh, concept of a letter because letter is the most common in any office and all the most of the dealing assistant are asked to draft some kind of letter. So let's say um, I have given the role of a director of school education and literacy Meghalaya and we have to write a letter to uh, DERT which is uh, also a directorate in uh, Meghalaya to request for guidelines of Vidya Pravesh. So now uh, we'll just enter that prompt into ChatGPT. So here you can see we have uh, requested for a draft letter to um, Director DERT requesting him or her to draft some guidelines on Vidya Pravesh. Now this DERT is uh, Educational Research and Training Institute and they are supposed to do all these kind of things. So we write to, so they, they, the letter is there, um, you know, to Director DERT, subject request for draft guidelines on Vidya Pravesh on NEP. It does a basic introduction, then it talks about Vidya Pravesh a bit, NEP and uh, yeah, then it requests uh, the director to draft some guidelines on Vidya Pravesh, uh, which should have all these things, curricular framework, teacher training, assessment, I mean it has given components, sub-components also and a little bit of concluding remarks and then your uh, initials so just you can what you can do once this is done then the respective dealing assistant can just copy from here like you know if you click here it uh, will um, copy the whole text you can paste it on your letterhead draft and then you know bang you are there so it's very fast and obviously you can um, so here what uh, dealing assistant can do is uh, they can improve upon it of course you have to put some pointers some information may not be available with chat gpt but it gives you the basic skeleton of the letter so that is what we must understand and uh, uh, we might not be able to put in uh, certain points while we are drafting it. So this gives a very comprehensive uh, skeleton. So that is the most important uh, part. If you're not happy with this response, you can always regenerate, you know, clicking here, regenerate, and then you can rate it also, whether you like it or not. So this will help the whole uh, machine learning process to get better. So this is a uh, sample of a simple uh, letter which we drafted. And then now let us move on to the next, uh, which is the most used in our office is the order format. So here I'm putting in a prompt asking uh, ChatGPT to draft order to all dealing assistants and uh, staff of the office to learn ChatGPT to improve their draft. So let's see uh, what the response is like. So here it uh, creates an order and um, you know it has a basically written a letter so let us but anyway let's go through the uh, so it is addressed to all dealing assistant uh, that also will work enhancing draft order skill chat gpt uh, you know here are some key points why uh, basically uh, we should use training and learning integrating drafting process feedback and learning okay but here uh, it has written a letter but i told uh, draft to be written so let's see if it can correct it the above okay 
So now uh, they, we asked chat GPT that we don't want a letter, we want an order. So this is like an order it has created in, in uh, I have issued the following order, introduction of chat GPT. And so basically it has issued an order for all the dealing assistants to uh, you know go through chat GPT and improve the drafts. So this is uh, basically one of the uh, examples. So orders are very common in our offices. So now let us try one more. Uh, order where we will uh, tell chat GPT to draft uh, order uh, give granting earn leave for some of these staffs. So uh, here as you can see I have asked uh, chat GPT to draft an order for approval of leave. Um, this is uh, you know yeah, drafted of course we can we have to replace all these things names and ID and etc so leave duration purpose of leave leave balance everything is there and then at the bottom your signature is there so it is drafted of course you can uh, every office will have to uh, contextualize it and put some letter heads and some relevant uh, facts into it but it gives you a basic skeleton so especially this is more relevant when you are starting something and you are not having the standard formats set in the office so chat gpt will help you achieve all that so we have seen so far that uh, it can generate letters it can generate order formats now let's move on to another uh, very important um, thing sometimes we need to come up with some guidelines so let's see how chat gpt responds on the request to frame some guidelines so here we are asking ChatGPT to come up with some guidelines for implementation of 10 bagless days as per NEP 2020 to be circulated to all the schools. So let's see what it responds. So it has come up, it is coming up with the guidelines for 10 bagless days. It has uh, come up with introduction, objectives, planning. Uh, integration with curriculum documentation reflection evaluation and feedback okay so that's a decent framework but it is not indicating some kind of suggestive activities so we uh, will let us tell chat gpt that uh, we also want a set of uh, you know activities to be part of the guidelines so that it's more elaborate so let's try that So now we have uh, asked ChatGPT to also come up with some activities. So it has uh, come up with some activities, uh, you know, it can be nature walk, local cultural exploration, community service projects, hands-on science experiments, so and oh my god, so it's a big list of activities which they can uh, do and uh, yeah, so it's wonderful. So you know, you can include these uh, guidelines in this uh, in this form and it these activities can be also be included. So it's of course we can work upon it but a basic very good basic structure has been given uh, by chat gpt so uh, this is about drafting guidelines now uh, let's also try some other things uh, because in offices we often uh, have to do some other things as well like doing a press release so let's try uh, if if chat gpt can draft a nice uh, press release So here we are asking uh, Chad GPT to uh, draft a press release informing the schools that there are some cases of conjunctivitis spreading in Meghalaya so take some precautions uh, for the students. So let's see the response. Okay, so it has drafted some kind of a uh, uh, press release then um, you know it is giving some kind of suggestion what to do to maintain hygiene, avoid direct contract, prompt reporting, health education, seek medical attention uh, so on and so forth. So together we can safeguard and health of well-being of our students and contribute to a healthier community. So that's very nice. Um, so these are the like, you know, press release and then you can add your points to it. So, uh, so we have uh, so far covered the various things. So now move on. Let's move on to some uh, little more technical maybe uh, stuff. Uh, as an office, you might have to float some uh, expression of uh, interest EOI or RFP. So let's see if chat GPT can draft uh, these kind of uh, special uh, requirements. So here we are asking ChatGPT to draft some kind of 
EOI asking for wall paintings with the theme of education in the office walls of diesel. So let's see the response. So it has drafted a EOI and uh, it has given you know project details, scope of work, location, design proposal, qualification, submission requirements, selection. Um, uh, process, important dates of submission, submission address, you know, all these things are given. Uh, all right, so that's that's a draft uh, EOI and uh, obviously you can uh, work on it and it, you can give, so I've given a very uh, simple uh, EOI, you can include conditions of, you know, uh, this and that of technical requirements, you can feed in, as I said, you know, the more data you feed in, the better your draft will be. So just uh, to save time and uh, so that the video is not too long, I'm not putting in too much of data and uh, since it's for the beginners, like uh, you know everyone is beginner uh, for chat gpt right now so just to understand the basics i think i am keeping it quite simple but the more data you feed into it i think uh, the better the response will be so one last uh, let's take one last uh, last uh, case where some school has uh, let's say applied uh, for uh, uh, you know some kind of permission and uh, we have to issue that permission so how we draft a permission using chat gpt So here we are uh, asking ChatGPT to draft a NOC permission letter to a school named XYZ uh, according giving permission, uh, let's just correct that, giving permission to hold a food festival but with certain terms and conditions. So generally, you know, uh, we often miss out on certain terms and conditions, we just simple issue permissions on things. So every permission or NOC should be based on certain terms of conditions. So let's see how ChatGPT fares here. Okay, so here is the no objection permission letter format to whomsoever it may concern. It has drafted some kind of, uh, you know, initial line acknowledges, which is very good. Then it has given certain terms and conditions, which is also very good. Like the health and safety measures should be taken, security, crowd management, noise levels and disturbance, environment responsibility, now um, event advertisement promotion liability. I mean, so many reporting and documentation. So this NOC basically is uh, granted under, and it has also mentioned that, um, you know, the NOC is granted under these stipulated terms and conditions. This is this, and then, you know, we wish uh, successful feed. So this nice uh, soft touch also is there. So I think uh, these drafts uh, by Chat GPT, I mean, if you look at all these kinds which have taken is kind of uh, perfect and it includes all angles uh, which we as uh, maybe, you know, human beings may miss sometimes. So this is a uh, very good to improve your drafts. Of course, I mean, uh, there are some data which we will have to add from our side, but the basic skeleton is wonderfully made. So today we saw how to draft a letter, order, guidelines, press release, EOI, permission. So these are the most common things which are required in offices uh, to be drafted by dealing assistants and uh, officers and other officials. So just to save time and to ensure a comprehensive um, skeleton of the draft, I think we should uh, definitely use this tool and then improve upon it. It will save a lot of time uh, when it uh, comes to the debate that, you know, chat GPT is taking away all of our jobs and all. So I, I don't think we should think like that. Uh, we should think it as a tool which is uh, helping us uh, to improve, to save our time from doing uh, very mundane things, uh, these simple things. If we can save our time doing these small, small things, the routine things, then we can, we can give our time on bigger and better things. So that should be the approach. So hope uh, I hope that you liked uh, this video and uh, all the dealing assistants who are watching this uh, will use chat GPT especially in my office and um, wherever I'm working to use and improve the uh, drafts uh, in the future so if you uh, want any further uh, questions uh, if you have any further questions on drafting or anything uh, please feel free to leave a comment and if you want me to make more uh, videos on how to use chat GPT on certain things please feel free to do that as well in the form of a comment thank you so much for watching